Welcome back. I'm Matthew Rodriguez in San Francisco. If you're planning on watching the Academy of Country Music Awards this weekend and are looking for a healthy appetizer to serve up, we've got the dish just for you. Fitness editor Michelle Foley is here to show us how to make Cheryl Crow's bruschetta recipe. Fun fact, Cheryl is up for Female Vocalist of the Year. Okay, am I messing this up? Is it bruschetta or bruschetta? You know, you can say it both ways. There's no oh. wrong way. So okay. I'm totally that, not messing it up. See, people were yelling at me before. <laughs> okay. So how is this different? So Cheryl actually uses a tofu spread on the bread before layering it with tomatoes, and that gives the dish more protein. She right. also uses a healthy multigrain bread, upping the fiber content. Gives it a little kick. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. What do we make it? Extra firm tofu in the food processor. Got it. Lemon juice, fresh parsley. I'll have you add the garlic powder. All right, garlic powder, lots of that. While we, I put in this Dijon mustard for All a little right, kick. All right, looks good. Gonna and then you just blend, blend it up. Blend it up, and while I'm blending it, why don't you go ahead and put the olive oil in. Okay. And so essentially we're making sort of like a mayonnaise. It's a really creamy consistency um, that we're just gonna spread right onto the bread. Yeah, and traditional bruschetta is just tomatoes, basil, right. maybe some onion. Maybe sometimes. some onion, some olive oil. Okay. Not this creamy, delicious spread. All right, it looks good. It smells amazing, actually. Yeah, you can smell the garlic, you can smell the parsley. Okay, and then we just spread that on some. We're gonna spread this on the bread for you. <laughs> you spread it on the bread. And spread the spread. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a poem here and it's not working out. <laughs> I like your poem. Okay. Layer go. it with the tomatoes. This actually looks really tasty. Yeah. It smells good. And we've got some English cucumbers that have been cut. Okay. We're going to put more fresh herbs. We've got some fresh basil here. Can't forget the salt. I like a lot of salt. Okay. So maybe go back with that. <laughs> <laughs> and some pepper. Okay. Now give this it a try. Good. Now you're not going to find this at Olive Garden. No. Right. And you can cut that up really nice at your party to make s sort of a more sophisticated mm. appetizer. Delicious, zesty. Yeah. Kicks it up a notch. Yeah. I like it a lot.